Hey, this is Rich Thurman with Small Business Community, and before I get started, I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and if you're a new subscriber, please make sure you take the moment to uh, click subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified when we have new content, because we are committed to creating content that is useful and informative for you and your business and what you're out to create, and ultimately, you know what? I, just sharing this video would be enough, right? So if you got a chance, just go out there and share this video. I'm sure that there's somebody else in your life and your network that could really understand what it is that they need to do as far as budgeting in their business. And you would look like a rock star for sharing this video with them today. So please share this video if nothing else. So with that, let's get started. So eight tips that will help you have a budget that works for your business. So you need to create a budget for your home business in order to know whether or not you're making a profit. Expanding your business and achieving the goals that you want. Budgets help you plan for the future, manage cash flow, and even secure financing if you should need it in the future. So I'm gonna share with you nine tips that should ground you in results. All right, so let's get started. So I said nine, eight, we'll determine whether or not that's actually the case, but number eight, research your business. When you decided on a business and a business, there are tools of the trade that you may need or want. See what is available so that you can research the tools and choose the ones that offer you the most for your business. So you can go get Salesforce or you can go get HubSpot or you could go get, you know, whatever the top of the line service or uh, software, but it may not necessarily be what you need. So look, see what you actually need for your business. Number seven, avoid traditional office supplies. So it can be tempting to run out and buy a filing cabinet, paper, printer, you know, I've done this, like ink and so much other related office supplies that you don't really need those things. Instead, think green, avoid most of that stuff, right? You don't need it and you're not ever going to need it really. Even when it comes to printing, unless you have a position that requires it, you will save money by buying a second monitor instead of printing out things. Number six. Use what you have. What items you have already? You likely have a laptop, a desk, and other things that you can put into service already for your home business. So you don't need to go out and buy other stuff. You already got everything you need. Maybe you even already have a phone. Like you like, then like all you need is a phone these days, really. So there's no reason to go out there and buy all new things when you are the first when you're first starting out, right? Using what you have will enable you to spend money on things that you don't have. Number five, keep your budget simple. Don't get carried away in the beginning with adding extra phone lines or new internet connections or things that you're not even sure you're going to need. If you only add things you're certain that you're going to need, then you'll keep your budget lower and controlled. Number four, question every expense. Now, I personally, every day, first thing in the morning, I do my metrics. I do KPIs, and part of my KPIs is cash in, cash out, and what I'm, where, where all my money is going, right? So before you add new expenses to your business, ask yourself, if the expense will create a return on investment or not. If not, ask yourself why you really need the expense. Does it play an integral part of your business to help keep it running? Do you really need it? You should have to spend money to make money, but you should be smart about it. Number three, work in flexibility. One of the most awesome things about working from home today is the cloud-based technology that is available. You can essentially rent software instead of buying it outright. 
which means that you can deduct it fully each month from your income. And then, if no longer needed, you can stop it. Plus, most cloud-based software allows for flexibility in terms of features that you may or may not need. Number two, know your break-even point. Your break-even point is the amount of money you need to make just to keep the doors open without actually earning a profit. It's your cost of doing business. This is an important number to note because it will help you determine your fees in the future. Number one, reassess yearly. I would actually say reassess quarterly. Always take the time to look at your budget each year or quarter to make sure that it fits with your goals to maintain a lean business. Being lean with a home office is a lot easier than if you had a brick and mortar business. So final thoughts. Your lean home business budget is an important part of running a home business. You have something a brick and mortar business doesn't have, and that's a lower overhead and much more flexibility surrounding the cost of doing business. So thank you for watching this video and if you have a chance, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified that when we produce another video. And we're always committed that our videos and articles are always practical and useful. So make sure you sign up with our community uh, in the link below. I have a bunch of links in, in the subscription. And thanks again for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video.